Hey, this is Crystal and I am off to Shambhala here on YouTube and today I am going to show you uh, some of my latest clothing item sales um, just in the last week and this is only a portion of my sales for the week and um, I don't know some of you might be following my journey uh, my journal <laughs> on my journey in my journals that I post here on YouTube or maybe you've seen some of my other videos and I've been hoping to sort of start stepping up my game and I can't really say that I've done that but you know what Th I'm doing all right I'm not making huge money but you know I'm doing a good seventy five hundred dollars a week most of the time um, with very little eff effort at this point um, so I'm just really excited and I know none of the stuff that I'm gonna show you is are really sort of like home runs or anything but I made money on everything uh, or these are just things you could look out for and maybe uh, you can get a little more money than what I charged for some of the things and they're all clothing items except for uh, the one at the end was a cute little find that I just thought I would point out to you if you find something like this real cheap at a garage sale or something I think it's kind of fun and it's it's another kind of in a popular category that people are looking for so you know it's like picking up a five dollar bill or something you know or if you know four one dollar bills maybe anyways um so let's get started so my first item up is an express velour hoodie um i think i bought this for like a dollar at the thrift store and um and i had read or i had watched somebody else's video who does clothing and they don't like um, express um, and maybe it doesn't go for big money but you know I don't mind buying something for a dollar and making you know I don't know eight or nine dollars on it so and I've had really good luck with express I don't know maybe I just have happened to be in the right place at the right time or something <laughs> but I've sold probably four express items uh, over the last six or seven months and they seem to sell relatively quickly um, let's see this one I actually posted the beginning of October I mean so it's just a little over 30 days um, and then this one sold so um, uh, yeah so I got this for a dollar sold it for $9.97 and I believe the shipping was uh, pretty close to that 555, but I probably made uh, you know 75, 80 cents on the shipping with the discounts. So um, I was real happy with that one. Um, okay, let's go to the next item. Okay, um, this item, I don't know if you've seen any of my other videos, you know one of my favorite clothing items is bathing suits and I have a hard time keeping them in my store actually. I have three bikinis that have just been sitting in there lingering forever um, and I think it's because they're real small and you know just like anything else, anything large or extra large tends to sell better. Um, and then the bikinis in general, I just don't do as well on. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to keep them in there for a while. Maybe in the spring they'll go or some people from Australia might be interested in those. They're moving into the summer down there. And I've sold quite a few bathing suits to Australia already. So um, bathing suits, I mean, I can't believe I just posted like three bathing suits and they sold. Um, and this one was one of my better ones. Um, this one was a really nice quality, um, but it wasn't really any kind of brand to mention. Um, but it was just a really nice quality. Um, it uh, was skirted. You know, it kind of has this 50s retro kind of a look going on. See, you know, this works really great when it's not on screen castomatic. When it's on screen castomatic, it doesn't go very smooth. Anyways, um, but yeah, this is pure style and it's also a plus size. Um, and also, I think a lot of uh, women who wear plus size, they, they sort of like that skirted look too. Um, so. Yeah, this one went, it just was really cute, really nice quality. So, 
Um, I, I had this up for, I didn't even put the date. I, um, it, it sold within like two or three days of my posting it and I got 18 bucks for it. And, uh, this one I actually paid $6 for. So, um, I didn't make huge money on that one either, but the fact of the matter is it's, it sold right away and I almost put it up for like 24 <laughs> And I say this all the time, like, uh, but then I can't tell you how many times I put something up for the higher price and it doesn't sell. Like, I'll put up a bunch of stuff at, like, the highest possible price I think I can get for it and, you know, you know, whole batch of things and two or three of them will sell and then I invariably lower the price. And frankly, I think that's a good strategy as long as it's not necessarily a bad strategy, but I don't know. I really like moving my stuff, so... You know, you, I think you always question whether you should post your stuff for a higher amount or not. But, uh, yeah, I'm real happy with this one, too. Um, good sale. Nothing outstanding, but definitely a worthy profit. Um, here, this one I've actually had for a little while. I've had it in the store since July. Is that July? No. June. No. June or August 4th that's August is the eighth month this is where I, I this is like my indication of date when I posted this first so I posted this the first of August and so what is that August September October no, okay so we're into the fourth month it finally sold I had this actually listed at like $17 or something like that and I had a bunch of men's shirts and a couple of them sold at that higher price. It's just like what I was talking about. I had a batch of shirts, put them all up at the highest possible price I thought I could get for them and got that price on a few of them and they the rest were just lingering and I'm like, let's get these moving. And I mean, I bought this for a dollar. So again, I'm happy with the profit um, and the thing's perfect and it's a really nice shirt. Um, so I'm sure whoever got is getting that is going to be very happy with it. Unless it just doesn't fit. Okay, now this was a fun one. I went to a garage sale. I don't go to a lot of garage sales. Well, actually, over the summer, I live in the desert. And we really don't have a lot of garage sales in the summertime. It's just too hot. Some people will do it, but who wants to go, you know? <laughs> um, and I don't know. I just find... I, I'm just not a big garage sailor. Um, although every time I go, I do find good stuff. So I, I don't know why I have this affinity against going to garage sales. I just, I don't know. So I'm like forcing myself to do garage sales. Plus the weather is really nice. So I stopped at this one and there was this, she had like some doll clothes. And out of all the doll clothes I had, I, there was this cute little Christmas ugly Christmas sweater <laughs> and I didn't have uh, any by the time I learned about ugly Christmas sweaters um, I didn't have money for sourcing and stuff I if you guys are following me you'll know that I went through like a dry spell where I couldn't really source thanks to my car <laughs> Um, so I'm like, look, it's an ugly Christmas sweater. It might not be the, uh, you know, $40 one, but it's for a doll. And let's put it up and just see what happens. And I probably got it for like 25 cents. I got it in a batch of stuff. I gave them one price for a big load. So um, I'm like, I'll just put it up for five bucks and, and not including shipping. And this thing sold within a day. Let's see. I posted it on the 13th. Okay, within two days. Um, yeah, so I was like, oh my gosh, it sold right away. I wasn't sure if that would go. So yeah, if you can't find ugly Christmas sweaters for people, look for dolls, dog sweaters. <laughs> the Christmas, the ugly Christmas sweater phenomenon is definitely a good uh, ride to, to hop on to. Um, okay, and this took me a little while to sell, which I was a little surprised but it's a tankini top. I knew it would sell eventually. And I think when I first posted this one, I had it for like $12.99 or something like that. And it just wasn't going. I put it up at the end of the summer. And I don't know why this one wasn't going. Um, uh, but um, it did finally go. I lowered the price. I'm like, let's just move this thing out. And, and it, it went right up shortly after I lowered the price. 
Um, so, um, but usually those tankini tops go right away and people will pay top dollar for them. Okay, um, the Coldwater Creek Purple Down Ski Puffy Vest. This vest, I loved this vest. It was so cute. Um, I don't remember if it was my size. I was almost kind of hoping nobody would buy it because I, I don't know, maybe it wasn't my size. It had, I was a little bummed because one of the buttons was falling off and I tried to fix it and I'm not real good at that stuff and, and it just didn't look good after I fixed it. So I'm like, well, I guess I'll just have to give it away real cheap. But I really wanted to list this for like $13, $14. No, it's size small. Too. It was too small for me. It's just a really nice jacket. Um, I would love to have this jacket for myself if it was my size. But anyways, uh, again, I picked it up for a dollar at Goodwill. You know, I made a little bit of money on it. You know, I'm happy somebody bought it. So this is this is definitely would definitely be a good thing to look out for. These Cold Water Creek jackets. And again, you might not get the big huge money for some of these. Or, you know, if even if there's something wrong with it, you know, you know, uh, people will still buy. It. I think people are happy to buy certain brands. They're like actually happy that there's something wrong with it because they can get it for cheap maybe. I don't know, but um, let's see, when did I, I posted this 1st of October, so just a little over a month, and that one sold. And last but not least, this was my favorite sale. <laughs> it wasn't big money, but I don't know why I love sock monkeys. <laughs> um, I bought another sock monkey before, um, and I was going to try to sell that, but we had a little dog staying with us, and I ended up giving it to our little dog. And then I, at that garage sale, I got this there, and I'm like, okay, this is just cute, and it's brand new, and I was kind of debating on whether I should try it on Amazon, but I just was in a hurry, and I'm like, I'll just put it on on eBay, because Amazon's, like, taking forever from, to get my money, and I really need money, like, as soon as I can get it. <laughs> so I'm just, whatever, Amazon, I like it, but... Uh, Something's got to give every now and then. Um, so anyways, yeah, look, dog toys. And I don't know if what was really great about this, this sold right away too. Like I listed this on the 14th and then it sold on the 16th. Um, and again, I probably paid a quarter for it. Um, sold it for $6.99 with free shipping. And I think it was just about two bucks to ship it so I mean I guess I made like three bucks on it it's not like I made big money but these are were five ninety nine at um Walgreens and I was debating should I go six ninety nine or seven ninety nine and I just went with six ninety nine just to see what would happen and so I think if I were to find another thing like this I might try to go like seven ninety nine or even eight ninety nine, and see what would happen. I, just because it's technically a dog's toy, and I think you know any kind thing kind of pet oriented. Maybe not just anything that's pet oriented, but certain pet oriented things are probably good things to keep an eye out for. So those are some things that you can keep an eye out that you can sell. And and uh, I did uh, probably just a little. Well, I did over a hundred dollars in sales this last week, and I'm telling you, I have not been meeting my goals of being more productive. I've just been barely doing the minimums because my other job has been maxing out my hours and I'm like, well, I just got to take advantage of that right now. So eBay will take care of itself eventually. Um, but yeah, that's how I'm doing. Those are some of my recent sales. I uh, hope this helps when you're out sourcing for things and if you can pick up stuff like this for free or cheap somewhere, you know, um, and you don't mind making a 3 to $5 flip on things, um, these are all things that I think are, are good to look out for. Um, see you later. Thanks for stopping by.